Um, so how did you end up helping a family find a new home? I ended up helping a family find a new home as after I saw a news a story uh, about what happened to them. They lost their home in a fire. They lost both of their pets. They have two kids and they're both ICU nurses in a local hospital. I immediately knew I had to take action and take care of it. I started reaching out to several different um, reporters that I have met in the past throughout, take, throughout the whole mission of my nonprofit. And we've been able to, we were able to reach out to the family and surprise them and get in the works on it. And we immediately started reaching out to several developers to see how we can get it funded or donated to me, to us, to give away. And after, after a couple calls of no's and yes, we were able to reach out to two developers that were able to fund us six months worth of rent for them. That's oh my God, I mean, you're, <laughs> I love that you, you led with, I had to take action. And a lot of people just see those news stories, Stephen, and then they just go on about their day. And you didn't, and it's such a remarkable thing. You have such a great heart, and especially such a young man. Um, Gene, Melissa, Ben, y'all have anything you want to say to him? I can't, I'm like, I hope I raise a boy like you. <laughs> yeah, I Boy, my hat is off to you. And, uh, you know, I, I used to think about doing things like that when I was 16, 17, but I didn't pursue it. I just didn't think that, oh, I can't do that. I'm just a kid. But it's, you can. You just ask. <laughs> it never hurts to ask. You just ask. It's you know? so impressive, and it's, it's so important that we hold each other up right now. And what you guys are both doing, we want to make sure that continues where, if it's with finding hot spots or getting more food or helping with, with housing for both of your causes and your charities, Ben and I want to give you each ten thousand dollars. What? And we want to really, really keep this going. It's so, it's so important, and um, and just keep spreading that love. You know, you're changing lives, and we want to make it easier for you to even change more. And I'm, I just feel lucky to have even gotten to meet you through this crazy Skype world, but. I know how hard it is to do what you're doing, and I want you to just keep going, and and you're making a huge difference. So yeah, so thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, and we will. Uh, thank you. Down you have so, uh, yeah, honestly, Kelly, you uh, have I'm gonna I'm gonna match that as well. Oh my gosh! Come on, man. Oh my gosh! That's 600 families you can add. I can't oh my gosh! I love humans. Today's a good day. Okay, so we would like to help keep. Keep Melissa and Ben's 20 Days of Kindness initiative going. So we reached out to our friends at the ConAgra Brands Foundation who believe everyone deserves great food. They love what Othon and Damien and Steven are doing. That's why they're donating $5,000 to each of their nonprofits. That's $5,000 to Know Us Without ULA and $5,000 to Helping Others and Giving Hope. And I'm going to match what they're doing. Just, we're just going to round this out to 30 k each charity. That's what's going to happen today.